come back with some more icons, some of the more of their softer songs. You know I can't get away from them. I love them so much, bro. It's ridiculous. Please, I want you to go watch my first reaction to them and then watch my latest reactions to them and see how, how crazy of an impact they had on me and my emotions for them and how much I love them now. So today's song is called Why, 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 Why? What, did, what was it? Aristotle or one of the great philosophers say one of the most difficult questions to ever ask is why people people don't hate people hate the question why more than any other question you can ask them in their life so today we're asking it three times why 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 we know this is going to be a sad song a deep song a song just wondering why maybe why did she leave or why did this have to happen i don't know but y'all need to start asking why more often before you jump into things you feel me let's let's jump into this Hold on, I gotta go back. I normally don't like to stop it in the beginning of any song because I want it to play out. I really want to feel it, you know, allow the emotions to kick in within me, hear the melody, hear the vocals and all of that. But I couldn't help it when it came to this lyric right here because I think it's so deep and y'all need to hear this. From just anybody to my love. From fate to lovers. Oh my gosh. Because it makes me think when you first meet somebody, it just starts off as being somebody. Anybody. You feel me? And then as you grow closer and you start to love and, and connect with that person and, and develop so much feelings and attachments to this person, they become someone you love. And then you go from love, a person you deeply love, and then you come from like, ah, oh, this is fate to just, this is my lover. I want to be around this person every single day. They make me happy. They bring me joy. They add to my life. They fill up my cup when it's empty. Now, the downside of that is sometimes you go from a lover, you go from, you know, anybody to love to somebody you don't ever want to see again. And I hope y'all not experienced that in your life. And if you have experienced that, I do hope for healing and peace in your life. I do. I do. No breakup. I'm trying to tell y'all. Who's writing these lyrics? <laughs> Who is writing these lyrics? No, for reals, because these lyrics are so beautiful, so deep. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Like, if I'm a rapper or a singer, I'm going to have Icon be my ghostwriters. <laughs> for reals. Because, <laughs> man, they're so good. He li Let's go back. He literally said... Eventually ended up in this position coming to this. I'm the one who messed up. You feel me? Like taking accountability, taking responsibility for their actions. That's something Icon always does. I love music that is not from one sided perspective. That, oh, that person is wrong. That person did me wrong. That person is bad. I hate that person. But also saying, you know what? Nah, it was me as well. You know, I can't put the blame or the fault on that person only because it takes two to tangle. And sometimes when we don't tangle as well, you may step on my foot. It may be my fault. I may have the miss, miss footing, misstepping type stuff. And so they're just, they're, their lyrics is so beautiful, so crazy. I'm trying to see how Bobby comes into this. Um, but it's very sad at the same time. Just the heartbreak that these young men was going through during this time. You feel me? Like, and I know it, it hits different too when you're, you have the amount of money and fame that they have. Because you know that the heartbreak is just much more. It's hard to find real, true people who are authentic and love you for you and not for what you have. Two 
good man. I love his voice. That's the way Bobby makes me feel. You feel me? Like, literally. He, he makes me feel that way because I'm always anticipating when is he going to come in? When is he going to come in? How is he going to come in? And every time he comes in, it's at the perfect moment. And not that it's just the perfect moment, but the... Bro, the way he sounds on these songs are so crazy. So, there's just no one who can do it like him at all. Bro is, yeah, I understand why he, he won Show Me The Money. <laughs> I just don't think anybody else compete with him. Now, I understand there's great other rappers. You feel me? Like, we, we got Top GD, we got Tablo, we got Epic High members in there. We know we have some female artists that are rappers that are really good as well. You know, we got B.I., but I think just, just the uniqueness of Bobby, it's just so different. I, I can't even compare him to any other artist because he's so different. So different. Explain the video, though. Sad, bro. I, I ain't trying to be sad today, man. I'm trying to enjoy life, bro, because I'm very grateful. But they making me feel emotional right now. And I'm not emotional. I'm a real me. You feel me? But they got me in my feelings. I'm not going to lie. Just, th just that moment right there was very beautiful where they stripped away the instruments. So you can really just feel just, the, just, just their vocals hitting your heart, your spirit. You feel me? And then Chan, man, that right there, he done that in two songs that we reacted to already. That right there is his specialty. To be able to convey just the emotions in such a just... He's just talking to us, but you feel so connected with him. At the same time, he's mysterious. You don't really know him, but you just feel drawn to him every single time. And you had this man right here come in and hit kind of the high register. You felt the pain. You felt the anger. You felt the hate. Like, you, 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 you felt just the agony in his voice. And you understand, like, now, like, they... Their lyrics is, is just incredible also because he's like, Bobby mentioned, and they keep mentioning, like, you don't know what you have until it's gone. And I don't know why we have to be them type of human beings that once something is gone, we're like, oh, it's precious. I, it, you feel me? Like, we, we miss out on what it is. And I think it's because we're not present, you know, enough. Um, But it's very true. We go through that. We experience that. And so I hope that you're not experiencing that. I hope that y'all are present in the relationships that you're in with the people around you and appreciate it. That when they are gone, when they do leave, that you don't have that regret of like, man, I wish I appreciated you more. You just understand I did my best and that's what it is type stuff. That's the end. Should I be a part of the group? Should I join too? I, I can help the two. I can add to it. I promise y'all. But y'all got to let me know. And to let me know, first subscribe. That will tell me enough.